through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully in increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, we may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance that dwells apart in a woodland in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old, as in the days when you came from the land of Egypt. Show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sin for the remnant of his inheritance? Who does not persist in anger forever, but delights in, rather in clemency, and will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt? You will cast into the depths of the sea all of our sins. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. You have favored, O Lord, your land. You have brought back the captives of Jacob. You have forgiven the guilt of your people. You have covered all their sins. You have withdrawn all your wrath, and you have revoked your burning anger. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Restore us, O God, our Savior, and abandon your displeasure against us. Will you be ever angry with us, prolonging your anger to all generations? Lord, show us your mercy and love. Will you not instead give us life, and shall not your people rejoice in you? Show us, O Lord, your kindness, and grant us your salvation. Lord, show us your mercy and love. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward the, to his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, it may be troubling to hear Jesus ask, who is my mother, who are my brothers, when he is told that they are standing outside asking to speak with him. Yet Jesus asks these questions in true ped pedagogical fashion, teaching fashion, so that Jesus himself could answer them. And his answer is one that should not surprise anyone who had been following him up until this point. For Jesus came to open the gates of heaven to all people, not just the chosen people of Israel. Throughout the gospel, 
we see the expansion of every kind of definition by Jesus Christ of what it means to live the law, of how and who we are to love, of who is our neighbor, of what it means to be blessed, and now of how to define who our sisters and brothers are. This is the expansiveness of God, not the authors of the Gospels. This is God's all-encompassing generosity, his all-inclusive mercy. It is God's abundant and overflowing love calling each and every one of us to relationship with him. Whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother, Jesus says. This is meant to include, embolden, and empower each and every one of us. No animal sacrifices are no longer required. No particular amount of money is necessary. No proper heritage or lineage is demanded. We are all Christ's brother and sister when we do God's will. By our very baptism, we have been marked as Christ's forever. And so we are already brothers and sisters in his name. Our place in God's family is not determined by genetics and the people we may have grown up with. It is through faith and obedience to the will of God. Yet we need his grace to help us to live out and to follow God's will. We can't do it on our own. Of course, what that means for each one of us will be different and will indeed involve some self-sacrifice. It will include discerning proper stewardship of time, talent, and treasure. And it will mean listening to what God is asking of us in terms of vocation or state in life. And so, brothers and sisters, we need to hear today's good news. The Lord has stretched out his hands to us, embracing us into his family. And now we embrace him in this sacrament, awakening our hearts further to God's voice in our lives so that we can do his will. We come together in faith and love to place before God our prayers and petitions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Lord look graciously upon him. Let us pray to the Lord. For our elected officials, may God's compassion and justice guide them in serving those they represent. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who find themselves unemployed, may the Lord help them find work to support their families. Let us pray to the Lord. For those of us gathered here, may the Lord keep us steadfast in faith, hope, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. For our faithful departed, may they soon rest in the loving arms of Jesus. At this Mass, we especially remember Kevin Alonsowitz. Let us pray to the Lord. And for our own intentions, which we now mention in silence. Through the intercession of Our Lady, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins this day. Please pray with me that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate with love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Father, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As brothers and sisters in Christ, 
let us pray for the courage to do God's will in the words that he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a great day. Say